You do it now so you don't have to do it later. It's called conviction. So I want to talk about butterflies and how it doesn't seem to make sense. This thing that flies around, and it's so beautiful. Um, in a place where they say everything is survival of the fittest, it's a bit strange that these things are just fucking everywhere. And, uh, you don't see them getting eaten or nothing. And, uh, a lot of them aren't really camouflaged. Except for the moths. The moths have the camouflage. You can spot them real easy. And the way they fly, uh... They kind of meander, don't they? They kind of, like, just take their time almost, it seems like, flying around in circles and stuff. Um, so it's, it's just interesting how it's... It's not a bee. They perform similar functions. But it's not a bee. It doesn't have a stinger. In fact, I'm not too sure... I haven't looked it up, but I'm not too sure if they have too much uh, defense mechanism against anything trying to eat them. So it's really strange how they, they're they able to make it no problem. And they're so colorful, so, so bright and beautiful. And I just love seeing them. I wonder... You know, one, uh, a year or two ago, I was watching, and it's like I understood <laughs> the butterfly had this aura of beauty around it. And it was almost as if it was repelling any negative So, it's interesting because butterflies and moths are very, very similar. And believe it or not, there's moths that come out during the day and there's butterflies that come out at night. And you see the moths, they usually have the camouflage, and uh, they're beautiful too, but in, in just in a different way. It's in their defense mechanism, their ability to blend in, and the patterning. It's a different form of beauty. I encourage you to go see for yourself. Notice the difference. It is interesting that the one that camouflages itself is attracted to the light and the one that has this bright display comes out in the sunshine When I was a kid, we used to plant these flowers that attracted uh, butterflies, and it worked.
It worked really well. And we had this garden in the back. And stuff kind of grew, but it never really grew how you wanted it. The soil wasn't really developed. There's a lot of clay. It's right near the woods. It's a little acidic from the pine. But these flowers, they grew. And they grew well and they stayed. And you didn't have to do anything. Everything else, it came and it went. The only other thing that stayed was the the brambles and the the berry bushes. Because those things are so prolific. But these flowers that brought the butterflies... They stayed there. I didn't even really take care of them. And they grew and they grew. And they worked. And they brought the butterflies in. And we need plants like that again. So we can see the butterflies. <laughs>